Oksana, Oksana is my, my uh, co-star on Dancing with the Stars. She's a fellow professional dancer and this season, uh, this season I had a great season with Zendaya and, and she was big help to me, uh, helped me out in a lot of ways. So I was like, hey, listen, why don't we come down and keep dancing together? So. <laughs> Speaking of Dancing with the Stars, I watched this last season and I was rooting for you guys. Thank you. I was shocked when you guys didn't win because I was the, the entire season. I was like, "Oh, they've got it! They've got it in the bag!" Every season, y'all were killing it. What, what, what was your reaction a little bit when you guys found out that you didn't win, and how did you guys kind of move forward from that? Well, you know, it's 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 a it's a difficult place to be in because you know the political correctness says that you have to you know you you have to kind of you, you you have to show class and defeat, which which is very important, and I think. That's one thing that I loved about Zendaya so much is that she has such poise and, and, and grace with whatever she does. You know, she's a professional, she's 16 years old, but she's a professional in general, in just her demeanor, you know, and, and that was no, no different. You know, at the end of the day, forget how I feel. The show is about her. It was about, for me, my priority was making sure that she looks good week after week and that this is an experience that she could be proud of. And I think we accomplished that, whether we got the trophy or not. I thought that the winner, you know, Kelly, Kelly was, a, was an incredible performer as well. I think she had an incredible story that people connected to. And I think if you make it to the end, everybody's a winner in the finale. Everybody has a different story and it's a matter of who, who the audience relates to. I'm proud of Zendaya regardless of win or lose. And, and, and yes, I was upset. But yes, I was down. I, I, I think, you know, I don't. I think every, I, I think it's natural to be a sore right. loser. I mean, people have negative connotations to that that word, sore loser. I mean, it just means if, that you're if, competitive if, and you want to win. If you're if you're not a sore loser, then then you're just a loser. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, if you're a winner, then and and you give you give this process your unconditional, undivided attention, emotionally, physically. I mean, we talk about blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, I have 14 stitches. Yeah. I gave this show everything, and so does Zendaya. So obviously it doesn't feel good to, to be second, but like I said, this show was way more than just about the trophy. It was about, I mean, I'm grateful for the demographic that I was introduced to with, through Zendaya, which is a young, uh, kid demographic. She's got a lot of fans. Yeah, she's got incredible fans that are that are younger, that are kids that are looking up to her, and and by default have met me and were introduced to me, and I've had incredible response and and a lot of opportunities to work with children's uh, ch like kid charities, and and you know I kind of found my calling in in some ways because I mean for me, going out and speaking to kids and and, and just I mean. I never thought that I could ever be in a position of a role model, but that for me is my biggest accomplishment so far in my life, is being able to be in a position where my words can inspire others. So we could focus on the things we didn't get, like a stupid trophy. I told Zendaya, I'll literally, I'll go make you one for, for $20. Uh, or we could focus on the things that we did get, which was an incredible friendship. I mean, she is my little sister for life, right? Uh, which was an incredible season of just beautiful dancing, you know what I mean? I mean, uh, you, that is what, what, what it's about. And, you know, all the wonderful things and all the wonderful feeling that we've created for others watching. So, 